uh, Michael Gallegos? Yeah. My name's Jonathan Masters, and I was thinking about going to Castillo County to move, and I got a couple general questions for you. Yeah. Okay, so um, uh, would you consider, uh, what, what's going on with the political situation? I noticed that there's, uh, on the tracer with the Secretary of State, there's two Gallegos. Or did they make, make, uh, mix something up there, or is there somebody else running for commissioner? Well, I'm Michael B. Gallegos. Yeah, there's a McClavio, a McClavio Gallegos. Oh, uh, Matt McClavio? Yeah. Yeah? Are you looking for him or what? No, 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 no. I, I was just wondering if you guys are the same guy or if there is a, a mix-up or whatnot. So, uh, no. you're running for the 3rd uh, District, county. right? I'm running for county commissioner, yeah. For the second district, and uh, uh, did you get the Democratic nomination in assembly? Yes, I did. Okay. In the third uh, commissioner, district number three is up. Those are the two, because we got uh, one commissioner up here in Pueblo County up for re-election. So there's two positions that's up for re-election? Oh, well, yeah. There's a, the other guy's name is Stephen Romero. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, because there's about six... Yeah, would you uh, would you say that you're a person that's uh, uh, accepting of a culture, a, a homesteading culture, or are you more uh, wanting to keep people out? Well, I haven't been paying too much attention to that stuff because I, I do I do a lot of work on the side. I can't get too much of to pay attention to what's going on here, but I, I sure like to see this town grow. I'll tell you that much. In a good way, not a bad way. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think you would, uh, I, I come from Kentucky and I feel a little sense of adventure like I'm going out west, you know, just like the pioneers did. Yeah, well, it's just, you know, when you come to some of these small towns and you move into them, you know, that's, that's what you get. You know, you get a well, I want some peace and privacy, and I am a pothead, so uh, I heard that Castillo County still legalized yeah. it. So oh, that's what's going on here. There's a lot of marijuana going on here. Well, I I see it come, you know, as good and bad. We should be prepared for more people, anyways, because we're gonna have children, and so I feel like um, all the problems that they want to blame people for marijuana, they there is some people that's there, but I feel like there's been problems of homelessness. And drugs, uh, for every for long for a long time, uh, everywhere, everywhere in the U.S., everywhere that you go. So I, I feel like we should just be prepared for more people because we're gonna grow, we're gonna have more kids, and then our kids are probably gonna have more kids. You know. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't believe in the drugs. I'm not a. I don't like drugs. I've always hated drugs. You always hated. That's not, that's not who I am. You know, I've always been a clean guy. But people that get into drugs, I have no control over that, you know. People who get into drugs? Is that what you're saying? Well, yeah, I, I don't, like these, I don't like drugs. I've always hated drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, but the number one thing here is it, it, it's the marijuana business here, you know, but it looks like it's sort of getting a little bit out of hand over here. What? Well, uh, there's, there's too many people coming in and trying to grow it over here, you know. It's like, it's not, it's not helping this out in this town. Right. No, I, I feel you. I mean, I feel like it's a, it'd be a blessing and a curse because I feel like I'm one of the good ones. So I don't, uh, I don't mess with drugs except for marijuana, and I just want to raise my six plants in peace, and I want a safe place to where I go to work that I don't come where, home. Where are you gonna live at? Um, I don't know. Uh, I haven't chosen yet. Maybe Castillo County. Maybe Conejos. Uh, there's a what you know whatever I can afford. So. I haven't made a choice, so I don't know. Somewhere in oh, Castillo I, County, you guys said. Yeah. You deal with, yeah, you deal with them, and you know they're gonna they're gonna set you a little a little plan or whatever how, how to do all that stuff, you know. Yeah, no, I feel you. I mean, I just I've been written for too long, so I want to start uh, owning something, and then uh, I I've been robbed too many times. I'm sick of the city. I just feel like everybody's in your business. They see what you got and. When you leave, then you're just, um, you know, you're just, uh, you're just open for them taking your stuff. It sucks. I went out weed eating one day, and I was like, great, now they know I got a weed eater. 
So when I leave, are they going to take my weed eater? So what would you say is the biggest problems with the people that's coming in? So you say you got the good ones, but then you say that there's the bad ones too. So if you could make it better, if you could make the the marijuana migrants or, or however you want to put it, what what would what would make that better? Uh, and, and I'm all for getting a, a, a good, clean job over here in Mitch County. Yeah. People could have work, you know. Yeah. Because uh, I, I want to try to do that. Well, I, I, need, I need a lot of help from the public to help me do that, you know. Get this town back on the feet again. That's what I'm all for. Do you have... Is, you know, I just hate to tell you how I feel about those, because that's how I am. No, that's... What would you say is the biggest priorities for you, um, if you're able to get in there? Right. Sometimes it takes them an hour, sometimes it takes them an hour and a half just to go, just to go and come, you know. Yeah, no, um, I mean, uh, how do you think you'll be able to bring jobs? Are you going to try to entice, like, big corporations, or do you have, like, uh, entrepreneurs, like, seating programs to get small businesses up and running? Yeah, just small businesses. That's what I want to do. I got a ton of ideas for small business. So, um, anyway, yeah, those, those are my ideas, and that's what I want to do. Yeah, no, are you running against anybody? Um, no, no, I'm already in. So, you're the man. How have you been in there for uh, a minute, or did you just get in there? I just got in there, I just won my election. Here. So, will you get uh, uh, certified, I guess, in January? Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, thank you. If I have any other questions about Costillo County, can I give you a call? All right, man, I appreciate you giving me your time this morning. All right, bye. bye.